Hello everyone. The story for today is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Long ago, in a distant kingdom, a beautiful queen lived who gave birth to a baby girl. The queen had always wished for a beautiful daughter and she was blessed with one who had skin as white as snow, eyes that were brighter than diamonds. and cherry red lips the little girl was named snow white for her beauty as the year passed snow white grew as beautiful as her mother and before she could reach her prime her mother grew ill and passed away the king eventually married another woman who became snow white's stepmother the stepmother was a beautiful woman but was also a witch She was so proud of her looks that she could not stand any other woman who was better looking than her. The witch also has a magical mirror into which she would gaze and ask, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" The mirror faithfully answered, "You, queen, are the fairest of them all." Snow White grew as the years passed into a beautiful young girl. By the time she turned 18, there was nobody in the kingdom who was as beautiful as she was. The queen was always jealous of Snow White's beauty and frequently sought reassurance from the mirror on the wall. The day Snow White turned 18, she asked the mirror who the fairest of them all was. and the mirror replied that although the queen is beautiful snow white is far lovelier than she is she boiled with rage and looked for the huntsman on hearing the truth the evil stepmother ordered the huntsman to take snow white into the forest and kill her the man obeyed her orders as she was the queen and took snow white into the forest without any one getting to know her however when the time came to kill the beautiful girl he could not do it instead he set her free in the forest and told her to run away and never come back or else the queen would try to kill her again snow white thanked him for his kindness and ran away into the wood After a long day of running away from what could have been a terrible fate Snow White was sobbing tired and hungry she wandered into the dense forest scared until she came across a tiny cottage she entered the cottage and found that there was no one in it however there was food on the dining table which she gleefully ate as she was starving she looked around and realized that the cottage was messy and decided to clean it when she was exhausted she went to the room and found seven beds she made the sheets and slept in the bed she felt most comfortable in in the evening the cottage residents who were all dwarfs returned home from a long day of work at the mine They realized that the house was sparkling clean and the food they left at the table was consumed. When they investigated further, they found a girl sleeping in one of the beds. Seeing her shocked the dwarf, making them scream and jump away. Hearing the dwarf, Snow White woke up from her sleep and screamed in fear. After the shock of the discovery settled, The seven dwarf introduced themselves to her. Snow White introduced herself and told her story. The dwarf felt bad for the poor girl and allowed her to stay with them in the exchange for taking care of the cows and cooking for the dwarf. Snow White settled with the dwarf and all were happy. The evil queen never bothered to ask the mirror who the fairest of them all was for a long time as she thought snow white was dead one day out of curiosity she asked the mirror 
and it gave the same reply that Snow White was the fairest of them all. Realizing that Snow White was still alive, the queen decided to take matters into her own hands. Being a witch, she concocted a potent poison and injected it into a delicious apple. The witch then set off on the search to look for Snow White in the forest. She soon realized the girl's presence when she came across the dwarf cottage. During the day, the dwarf were off to work in the mines and Snow White staying behind. They would have warned her not to open the door for anyone, knowing her life would always be in danger for as long as the queen was alive. The witch discussed herself as a feeble old woman selling apples in the forest. She knocked on the door, but Snow White didn't open it. She then enticed Snow White by showing her the delicious blood red apples through the keyhole and tell her to try just one. Snow White cannot resist and take a bite out of the apple and she falls to the ground soon after the first bite and goes into the deep, irrescible sleep. The dwarf come back home to the horror of Snow White lying unconscious on the floor not knowing what to do. They place her in her bed and stand sobbing next to her motionless body. They make her a coffin out of glass and place her in it before deciding to bury her. Around the same time, a handsome prince passes through the forest and stops by the cottage of the dwarf. He is so mesmerized by Snow White's beauty that he leans it and plays a gentle kiss. The kiss from what will become her true love instantly revives. Snow White by breaking the witch curse, they return to her kingdom and after the queen's action is revealed to everyone, she is banished from the lands. Then the handsome prince and Snow White marry and live happily ever after. Thank you so much. Hope you like the stories. Kindly subscribe my channel for more interesting stories. Bye for now.